Hi guys, before we get into this video, I just want to say that this was intended to be one part, but it ended up being half an hour long. So rather than try and capture your attention for half an hour, I split it into two parts, which is why the first part ends so abruptly. So we're going to do the goalkeepers and the defenders first, and then the midfielders and the strikers will be out tomorrow. Cheers guys. If you can, please subscribe because we're pushing the world 1k. Uh, we're about 500 now, so cheers guys. Hope you enjoy it. Thanks. Now, before we get into it, I'd just like to thank Ryan118 for this idea. He went through the Celtic squad and did something similar with who he thought would be there next season and who he thought wouldn't. Um, so, I'm going to do something similar and who I would keep and who i get ready. Uh, now, for players that I would keep, but I don't think that we'll be able to keep a hold of, we're going to put a wee line through them instead of a cross or a tick or like a wee question mark. We'll put a question mark beside them, right? Just because there's some that I'd love to keep, but just I don't think it's going to be possible. So without further ado, let's get into it. We'll start with Trevor Carson. He's, he's going to be under contract next season, so keep he'll be there. I think he's had an unlucky time when it comes to injury. He obviously had a deep brain, brain thrombosis, which is a blood clot in the leg that can travel up to the heart and the brain potentially and be fatal. So it's great that that was caught, otherwise it could have been absolutely catastrophic. He then struggled to get back into the team last season because we had Mark Gillespie, but um, this season he came right back in for the European games in the start of the season and he uh, was an important part of the squad, I particularly think of the penalty shootout against Coleraine where he practically won us uh, that tie. And um, all season he just made some important saves towards the start, but he picked up a knee injury just around about Christmas time and that's seen him out again. Um, but you've seen how much of how much we struggled rather when he was there we had to bring in Aaron Chapman who was just hopeless so uh, aye, Trevor Carson, he'll be there next season so I'll put a tick beside him and the fact that the goalkeeping situation was so bad man that we had to bring in and this guy on loan for QPR, Liam Kelly now he's someone that I'd love to keep but don't think it'll be possible. So we'll stick a question mark beside his name because I'd like him to be there, but I don't think he will be because I think uh, that Seri Dieng, if I'm, if I'm correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think he's going to be at QPR next season. So I think he, William Kelly will go back and fight for the number one jersey at QPR and I think he'll secure it because I think he's a great goalkeeper. He's made some great saves since he's come in in January and he's somebody that I think could bear me a shout of getting to the Euros as uh, the third choice goalkeeper for Scotland just as part of the squad. I think he's a really, really solid goalkeeper to have and I would I would encourage Steve Clark to take him. So I will put set a question up beside him. Next up we've got Scott Fox. I don't think he'll be there. He's at a contract in the summer and um, he's had an injury for the start of pre season. So I've not really seen him, but he's an experienced goalkeeper. I think at his age you want to go and get some game time. He can be part of it so, uh, in the summer and I think that he might go back to a club like Partick Thistle or maybe, I don't even know if Ross County would touch him, but I I can see him being one of them and go back to one of his old clubs uh, for maybe some game time. So I don't think Scott Fox will be at Mullow, so we'll stick across beside him. The final goalkeeper, PJ Morrison. PJ is somebody that was on loan at Falkirk during the season uh, before the week one and week two games get stopped. He did have a call back before that because of a goalkeeping situation with Trevor Carlson getting injured. Um, we needed backup for Aaron Chapman at the time, so he was he's pulled back. I think that we'll stick him back out on loan next season, so we'll tick beside him. But he's, he'll go back out on loan because I think he was someone that was really benefiting from that experience. Uh, from the reports, he seemed to be doing well in the games, making vital saves, um, and I'm sure that the Falkirk fans appreciated having him. He might go a level higher, he played at League One last season, he might try and go on to a championship club and test himself there, but I, someone that I think will go on another loan spell next season and then he'll be ready to push for the first team jersey at Motherwell. So, we tick beside PJ Morrison. Now, next up, we've got someone that I'd love to keep. But I don't think it's going to be possible again. So Stephen O'Donnell, stick a question mark beside him. Because he's a Scottish internationalist. You see when he came in against St Mirren, he added that wee bit of solidarity of defence. Um, I know a lot of people have been upset with his comments, particularly saying that if he loses, it's no dramas. I don't think comments like that help 
particularly when there's uh, rumours surrounding the fact that he might be going to Celtic or going here or going there. There was a lot of people surprised that we managed to keep him beyond the January transfer window and I'm pleased that we did because I think he's going to be an important part of the squad if we are going to stay up. I just need to say that this video is being done with the benefit of hindsight that we will be in the Premiership next season. Someday I'd like to keep, but someday that I don't think that we will be able to keep Stephen O'Donnell. He'll be in the Euros and I wish him all the best for that tournament. Liam Grimshaw, no, a lot of people might remember in my first video that I put up a wee photo saying that I've got cerebral palsy but I'm a better player than Liam Grimshaw, that was my analysis of his performance in the first game of the season against Ross County. What I will say about Liam Grimshaw is that if every player had the desire for more what that he's got, the work rate that he shows in that jersey, we definitely stay up this season. Uh, it can just be a wee bit inconsistent at times for me, but having said that, I think um, I would keep him as backup, so I put keep beside Liam Grimshaw, which may surprise a lot of people because I'm I'm seen as one of his critics. I don't I don't I don't hate the boy. I just think um, sometimes he can be quite poor, but no, I do I do love his passion uh, for the jersey, so I keep Liam Grimshaw. Next, we move on to a young boy, Max Johnson, who made his debut against Aggies, coming on as a sub just a couple of weeks ago. And then he made his first start against St Johnson. Um, thought he was unlucky to be dropped out of the side. Don't think he did anything particularly wrong in the game against St Johnson. I can understand it because Stephen O'Donnell is the experienced player out of the two. Um, but aye, someday that I'd definitely say is one for the future. He'll be there, so we'll put a tick beside him. I think that he'll be out on loan next season um, to a club in the Championship, or maybe League One. Because all the rumours about the club is that this boy is the next big thing in terms of youth products so I we've seen it work with Hasty um, when he was young get him out on loan, get him a season at maybe a championship club because I think he could easily play at that level I know he's only 17 but he came on and he showed that he, he, could, he could cope with it uh, in the playership for at least that, that um, 90 minutes that he played anyway so I get him out on loan to maybe a Martin or the Rafe or something and, getting some first team football but definitely one that I think will be a big part of the Motherwell squad in the future, Max Johnson, tick. Nathan McGinley, no, I'm going to put a cross beside Nathan McGinley because as much as I would like to keep him, I don't think he's going to be there. Um, I think he's been unlucky. Uh, I think he played all right at the start of the season, he didn't do much wrong, he showed that he could get up and down the line and he could get crosses in, he had a good engine on him, but I just don't think when you pair him against Jake Carroll that he's got much chance of getting in the squad, I think Jake Carroll is just a, just a better player than him, uh, not, that, not that Nathan McGinley's uh, poor or anything, but I, I, I'm just put a cross beside Nathan McGinley, I think he'll want first team football and I don't think he's going to get it at Motherwell, so unfortunately I don't think he'll be there next season, Nathan McGinley. And now we move on to the guy that I mentioned there, Jake Carroll, no, he's just signed a two year deal so we'll automatically put a tip beside him right away but I just want to touch on him uh, before we move on. I think he's delivered it from set pieces, is brilliant, um, I think he's all good, good at getting up and down the line again. Uh, I just think he's a wee bit better defensively than Nathan McGinley, which is why he's been brought straight back in. Uh, and once we get a full pre-season under his belt, I'm looking forward to seeing what kind of play he'll be for this next season. Uh, especially when you put in players that well, I'd assume that we'll sign. I believe, I hope that Alexander's got an effort player, but that uh, remains to be seen. So I will keep. Jake Carroll, and we'll put a tick beside him. We're on to the centre backs now, as the full backs done. And we'll start with Ricky Lamy. No, this might divide opinion, but I would get rid of Ricky Lamy. I don't think he's good enough. There's too many games in this season where he's made mistakes for me, where he's cost us, where he's looked sloppy. I particularly think of the game against Dundee United, eh, where we conceded a late equaliser. He was at fault for that, and then you look at things like not picking up his man for set pieces, particularly in the games against Celtic, uh, Celtic Park, it, it cost us uh, that 2 1 game with that early goal. I think he, he went sleeping for the finale set piece. And I know people might think that's a bit harsh, but there's just aspects of his game. 
I just get shaky every time he's on the ball. He don't quite know what he's got to do. So I would, I would get rid of Ricky Lamy. So we'll put a cross beside him. I don't think that he'll be there next season. Charles Dunn. Now this is somebody who has been out for a very, very long time with injury since the early part of last season. I remember speaking to him. A week after the injury, he just had his operation in London and he was pretty down about it, but he was of the mindset of what can you do, he was, just, he was quite focused on getting back. I'm glad to see that the club have stuck by him um, and I hope that they continue that. Now he is out of contract, but I think he deserves another year because uh, what he will add to the defence, uh, the centre backs, is pace. Um, whether he's lost some of that with his injury, I don't know, I'd assume not because he's still Quite, quite young, so um, I Charles done. I would keep for a year, maybe even six months. Give him another chance, the mother will jersey to prove himself. And then uh, we've got a solid player there if he's still the player that he was before he got into. Next up, Bevis Mugabe. Now, if you had said to me when Stephen Robinson was the manager, Bevis Mugabe, I would have been like, get rid of him, no good enough, cost us all the time. I think of the game against Hamilton. In particular, where he was just, just an absolute bomb scare along with Andy Chapman. But since Graham Alexander's come in, he's looked a different player. He's been a ball playing centre half. He's passed the ball from the back. He's dealt with anything that's come into the box. Particularly that first game against St Mirren under Graham Alexander, he was sensational. And then you think of the important goal that he scored against First County as well, which was a vital, vital one for this. So I keep Bevis Mugabe and hopefully with Graham Alexander's organised structural tactics, he can improve as a player for next season. Next up's another player that I've got a question mark beside and I think he's on know who it is before they even say it. Declan Gallagher. Love to keep him. Don't think it'll be possible. Think that he's going to go to the Euros, have a good tournament and someday will catch the eye of him. He'll catch the eye of somebody rather and he'll be away. 